Well, howdy there, friends. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from Blackish have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2024. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. One. Anthony Anderson, as Andre Dre Johnson. Anthony Anderson portrayed Andre Dre Johnson, an affluent advertising executive at Stevens and Lido, aspiring to infuse his family's upper-middle-class, ultra-suburban upbringing with a blend of black culture. He is the husband of Rainbow. In his television career, Anderson took on a leading role in the teenage series Hang Time as Teddy Broadus. He made numerous guest appearances on prominent shows like NYPD Blue, Malcolm and Eddie, In the House, and Ally McBeal. Recurring roles included stints on series such as Till Death and The Bernie Mac Show. Anderson was wed to Alvina Stewart from September 1999 until September 2023, and they share two children. Their son Nathan featured as Taji in the Netflix sitcom Richie Rich and made a guest appearance on Blackish. Initially filing for divorce in September 2015, citing irreconcilable differences after separating in April 2014, Stewart withdrew her petition in January 2017 after reconciliation. However, on March 25, 2022, she filed for divorce again, and it was granted by a judge the following year in September. Living with type 2 diabetes, Anderson actively advocates for diabetes awareness. In 2011, he participated in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, winning $250,000 for the Alzheimer's Association. Anderson was honored as an Omega Psi Phi fraternity member with his induction on July 30, 2020. Notably, in 2019, a star was designated with Anderson's name in the International Star Registry. 2. Tracy Ellis Ross as Rainbow Johnson Tracy Ellis Ross embodies the character of Dr. Rainbow Bo Johnson, an anesthesiologist and Dre's spouse, aspiring to maintain a significant role in her children's lives. Hailing from a biracial family, her father is white and her mother is African-American. Bao shares a particularly strong connection with Junior and frequently views Dre's ideas as implausible. Ross marked her entrance into the big screen in 1996 with her role as a Jewish African-American woman in the independent feature film Far Harbor. The subsequent year saw her debut as the host of The Dish, a Lifetime TV magazine series dedicated to monitoring popular culture. In 1998, she took on the lead in the NBC made-for-TV movie Race Against Fear, a moment of truth, portraying a former high school track star who had endured abuse at the hands of a coach, choosing to remain silent. Ross's next project was an independent feature film titled Sue. In 2022, following the conclusion of Blackish, Ross made a guest appearance as Laney in the seventh episode of the revived The Kids in the Hall, released in May 2022. She took on a production role for The Hair Tales, a limited docuseries for Hulu and the Oprah Winfrey Network. Later in the same year, she played a leading role in the upcoming psychological thriller film, Cold Copy, and starred in the upcoming Erasure adaptation alongside Jeffrey Wright. In 2023, she was cast opposite Eddie Murphy in the holiday comedy Candy Cane Lane, directed by Reginald Hudlin. 3. Marcus Scribner as Andre Johnson, Jr. Marcus Scribner embraces the character of Andre Jr., Johnson Jr., Dre and Rainbow's self-proclaimed nerdy second eldest child. While lacking typical teenage savvy, he compensates with intelligence, often receiving lessons on worldly matters from his relatively shallow and self-aggrandizing father and siblings, albeit with a touch of disdain. At the age of 10, Scribner secured his inaugural guest star role on the ABC crime drama Castle. Subsequently, he made appearances on Fox's New Girl, TBS Wedding Band, and Nickelodeon's Wendell and Vinny. During that summer, Scribner commenced production on the independent comedy Alexander IRL, starring alongside Nathan Kress. 
With the introduction of the freeform spin-off Grownish, Scribner assumed a more significant role in Blackish's fourth season. In 2018, it was revealed that Scribner would headline the thriller Confessional. Scribner lent his voice to Bao in the animated Netflix series She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. True to his character's name, Bao is a proficient archer and the best friend of Glimmer and She-Ra. In March 2022, it was announced that Scribner would continue his role as Andre Johnson Jr. by transitioning to Gronish for its fifth season, succeeding Yara Shahidi as the lead character and narrator following the conclusion of Black Ish's eight-season run. 4. Miles Brown as Jack Johnson Miles Brown assumes the role of Jackson, Jack Johnson, Dre and Rainbow's third eldest child and fraternal twin of Diane. At 13 years old, he typically exudes an aloof demeanor, but holds his father in high regard. Jack is Diane's younger twin brother, relying on his cuteness, despite his lack of intelligence in the earlier seasons. Brown is the offspring of the rapper's wild child and Cindy Brown, having an older sister. His father is of African-American descent, while his mother has Filipino and Mexican roots. During his early years, he showcased his dance skills in music videos, including Yeah 3X and Loving You Is Killing Me, and appeared on the children's show Yo Gabba Gabba. By the age of five, Brown made a guest appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and participated as a contestant on the fifth season of America's Got Talent, forming part of the dance duo Future Funk. His initial foray into feature films was as a member of the Little Rascals intro battle crew in the dance drama movie Battlefield America. Brown also contributed to the dance group Alias Dance Company from 2010 to 2014. In 2018, Brown secured the lead role in the indie film Boy Genius alongside Rita Wilson. That same year, he debuted his first single, NBA and competed on the inaugural season of Dancing with the Stars Juniors. Recognized as one of Hollywood's top 30 stars under 18 by The Hollywood Reporter, Brown released his debut album, We the Future, in October 2020. The album, featuring production from Mad Lib, Mike Checkmate, and DeLeave, includes collaborations with Jadena, Slick Rick, Sieta Garrett, Dame D-O-L-L-A, and his father, Wild Child. As the youngest member, Brown actively contributes to the Junior NBA Leadership Council. 5. Marci Martin as Diane Johnson Marci Martin assumes the role of Diane Johnson, the youngest daughter of Dre and Rainbow and the fraternal twin of Jack. Diane sees herself as more intelligent and mature than her brother, and she is often perceived as mischievous by her family and friends particularly in her interactions with Charlie. In her breakthrough performance, Martin has garnered numerous accolades and nominations, securing three NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series and a Young Artist Award. She has been nominated for six NAACP Image Awards and two Screen Actors Guild Awards for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series. She lent her voice to the character Liberty in the 2021 film Paw Patrol, the movie, and its 2023 sequel, Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movie. In April 2022, it was revealed that Martin would star alongside Kelly Rowland and Omari Hardwick in the comedy film Fantasy Football. In 2023, she served as a producer for Saturdays, a coming-of-age comedy series airing on Disney Channel. Six. Peter McKenzie as Mr. Stevens. Portraying Leslie Stevens, Peter McKenzie features as a regular character in seasons 1 to 2 and takes on the starring role in seasons 3-8. Leslie Stevens is Dre's employer and the co-owner of Stevens and Lido, known for exhibiting hipster racism and demonstrating implicit bias on social issues. McKenzie played notable roles in films such as Good Morning, Vietnam, 1987, Torch Song Trilogy, 1988, Lorenzo's Oil, 1992, and Trumbo, 2015. His television credits include appearances on Herman's Head, 1991, 1994, ER, 2002, Criminal Minds, 2005, Gilmore Girls, 2006, 
Gray's Anatomy, 2009, and How I Met Your Mother, 2011. In 2014, Mackenzie established a modest curbside book exchange on public property near his residence, which he named the Ten Man Library. Gaining popularity within the community, it received a local ordinance violation notice following an anonymous complaint. In 2015, Mackenzie's brother, Douglas S. Cook, passed away. 7. Jennifer Lewis as Ruby Jennifer Lewis takes on the role of Ruby Johnson, starring in seasons 2 a 8 and appearing in a recurring capacity in season 1. Dre's mother, Ruby, has a strained relationship with Rainbow. She holds strong religious beliefs and advocates for various pro-black causes. Ruby shares many characteristics with Diane and shares a close bond with Dr. Upon her arrival in New York City, Lewis made her Broadway debut in a minor role in Yubi, 1979, a musical based on the work of Yubi Blake. She later secured the part of Effie White in the workshop of the Michael Bennett-directed musical Dream Girls. However, when the show transitioned to Broadway, Bennett selected Jennifer Holliday for the role. Lewis has been wed to Arnold Byrd since 2012 and is the adoptive mother of Charmaine Lewis. In 1990, Lewis received a bipolar disorder diagnosis. Initially concealing her condition due to shame, she eventually embraced it after 17 years of therapy and 10 years of medication. 8. Jeff Meacham as Josh Jeff Meacham portrayed Josh Oppenhull featuring in seasons 2 and 6 to 8 with recurring appearances in seasons 1, 3 to 5. He plays Dre's colleague, often subjected to disrespect and undervaluation from his peers, and at times displays racist behavior. Upon completing studies at Booker's Performing Arts School in 1997, Meacham took on various minor roles in productions such as Guiding Light, and Ugly Betty. In 2006, Meacham starred in an internet-exclusive advertising campaign for a shaving system. Following the viral success of the commercial, where he assumed the role of the shave-everywhere guy, Meacham garnered attention from agents. Additionally, Meacham has portrayed Fred Flaterman on Resident Advisors. In 2018, he received a nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series. Meacham graduated from Purchase College's Acting Conservatory in 2001 and actively supports paid family leave and affordable child care through Make It Work. He is married to actress Christy Myers. 9. Dion Cole as Charlie Telfy Dion Cole takes on the role of Charlie Telfy starring in seasons 4 to 8 and recurring in seasons 1-3. Charlie is Dre's unconventional colleague and adult confidant. Cole is also a key member of the main cast in Grownish. Charlie's character is shrouded in mystery, including the revelation of two families, and exhibits numerous inconsistencies. He frequently overlooks his son, Eustace. Cole entered the comedy scene when a friend challenged him with a $50 bet to perform on stage one night in Chicago. From 2009 to 2010, Cole served on the writing staff for The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, and he continued as a writer for Conan from 2010 to 2012. He has been a frequent participant in comedic segments for both shows, earning two primetime Emmy nominations with the rest of the staff. In 2017, Cole delivered a half-hour set for the Netflix original series, The Stand-Ups. October 2019 saw the release of his stand-up special, Dion Cole, Cole Hearted, on Netflix. On June 25, 2020, Cole triumphed on To Tell the Truth, securing the Doris Award and becoming the second panelist to do so. On May 6, 2023, Philander Smith College in Little Rock, Arkansas, Cole's alma mater, granted him an honorary doctorate of humane letters. Cole is a proud father to his son, Dylan, and as a single parent, he maintains privacy regarding his son's mother. 10. Yara Shahidi as Zoe Johnson Yara Shahidi takes on the role of Zoe Johnson, featuring in seasons 1-3 and recurring in seasons 4-8. Zoe is Dre and Rainbow's eldest offspring and holds the title of Dre's favored child. 
She embodies the typical teenage girl stereotype, with a primary focus on appearance and boys. Shahidi initiated her career at the age of six, appearing in TV commercials and print ads for brands such as McDonald's, Ralph Lauren, Target, Gap Kids, Disney, Guess Kids, and The Children's Place. Collaborating frequently with her mother and younger brother, she participates in various print and broadcast campaigns. Her inaugural on-screen presence occurred in an episode of the HBO comedy series Entourage in 2007. In 2009, she secured a recurring role as the daughter of Jessica St. Clair's character in the short-lived ABC comedy series In the Motherhood. Later that year, she made guest appearances on Cold Case and Wizards of Waverly Place. Shahidi played a starring role in the Apple TV Plus anthology series Extrapolations, premiering on March 17, 2023. She portrayed Tinkerbell in the fantasy adventure film Peter Pan and Wendy, a remake of Peter Pan, which premiered on Disney Plus on April 28, 2023. Later in 2023, Shahidi served as an executive producer and assumed the lead role in the romantic comedy drama film Sitting in Bars with Cake, co-starring with Odessa Azion. 11. Lawrence Fishburne as Pops Lawrence Fishburne portrays Earl Pops Johnson, Dre's paternal figure, and Ruby's former spouse, residing alongside the Johnson family. Fishburne experienced various stints in television during the 1980s and occasionally graced the stage. In the early 1980s, he served as a doorman at punk rock establishments, including Café de Grande. In 2017, he took on the role of the Bowery King in the neo-noir action thriller film John Wick, Chapter 2, marking his initial collaboration with Keanu Reeves since the Matrix trilogy. The same year, Fishburne featured in the comedy drama Last Flag Flying as Reverend Richard Mueller. In 2018, he portrayed Bill Foster in Marvel's Ant-Man and the Wasp, directed by Peyton Reed. On September 20, 2017, confirmation surfaced that Torres and Fishburne had separated, concealing the separation privately for the past year. Fishburne initiated divorce proceedings on November 2, 2017, with the divorce concluding on May 11, 2018, following a final settlement reached on April 16, 2018. Fishburne resides in Hollywood and maintains an additional dwelling in New York City, situated in the Castle Village Co-op in the Hudson Heights area of Washington Heights. He holds an appreciation for Brazilian author Paulo Coelho and envisions producing a film adaptation of Coelho's novel, The Alchemist. 12. Nelson Franklin as Connor Stevens Nelson Franklin assumes the role of Connor Stevens, the son of Leslie Stevens, and an employee at Stevens & Lido. Franklin is the offspring of Howard Franklin, a screenwriter and director, and has DJ Ann Litt as his stepmother. For his high school education, Franklin attended Campbell Hall School in Studio City, California, and later earned his degree from New York University Tisch School of the Arts. Franklin's entry into significant acting came with a recurring role as Nick, the IT specialist on NBC's The Office. Subsequently, he became a regular cast member on the short-lived Fox comedy series Traffic Light, sharing the screen with David Denman, another actor from The Office who portrayed Pam's former fiancé, Roy. Among his additional endeavors is a short film for Funny or Die, a mock commercial endorsing the Dudes and Bros talking point system, a service designed to assist individuals not identified as dudes or bros in engaging conversation with those who are. Presently, Franklin Live streams video games on the Twitch platform under the moniker Slaughter Pop. Additionally, he has been labeled as a guest on the Scott Hasn't Seen podcast. 13. Nicole Sullivan as Janine. Nicole Sullivan takes on the role of Janine, the Johnson's next-door neighbor. Sullivan was part of the initial cast of Fox's Mad TV when it debuted in 1995. She introduced various characters, with the most notable being the ill-tempered Van Cum Lady. Among Sullivan's other personas were ex-news reporter Amy, the not-so-bright Antonia, 
Erasist's leader, Debbie. News at Sixes, Diane Lawyer Traballo. Prejudiced country singer, Darlene McBride. And the Latina stereotype, Lita. From 2001 to 2005, Sullivan portrayed Holly Shumpert, later reprising the role for the final season in 2007. In most episodes, Holly works as a dog walker. The Heffernans enlist her services to walk Arthur, Carrie's father, aiming to provide him with some exercise and keep him out of trouble, at least to some extent. Sullivan is wedded to actor Jason Packham, and together they have two sons born in May 2007 and August 2009. Sullivan emerged victorious in the inaugural edition of Celebrity Poker Showdown, where she played for Alley Cat Allies, a non-profit organization dedicated to enhancing the lives of cats. This victory resulted in a $100,000 donation to the charity. In November 2021, Sullivan listed her residence in Hollywood Hills for $145 million. 14. Anna Deaver Smith as Alicia Johnson Anna Deaver Smith assumes the character of Alicia Johnson, the widowed mother of Rainbow, Santa Monica, and Johan. Early in her professional journey, Smith participated in a diverse array of stage productions, including portraying Mistress Quickly in an off-Broadway presentation of Shakespeare's The Merry Wives of Windsor, produced by Joseph Papp and the Riverside Shakespeare Company as part of the New York Shakespeare Festival. As a playwright, Smith earned a nomination for the Pulitzer Prize for Drama in 1993 for Fires in the Mirror, a production that secured her a Drama Desk Award for Outstanding One-Person Show. Her contributions to Twilight in 1994 led to dual Tony Award nominations, one for Best Actress and another for Best Play. The play garnered Smith a Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Solo Performance and a Theater World Award. In 2013, President Barack Obama awarded her the 2012 National Humanities Medal. In 2015, the National Endowment for the Humanities chose Smith for the Jefferson Lecture, the highest federal honor for accomplishments in the humanities. Her lecture, titled On the Road, A Search for American Character, showcased her insights. The year 2019 witnessed her election to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. While we conclude this journey through time, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude to the entire Blackish cast for sharing their brilliance with us. Thank you for the laughter, the tears, and the lessons on family and identity. And to all the fans who have been with us from the beginning, thank you for your unwavering support. Blackish may have come to an end, but the legacy it leaves behind is everlasting. From all of us here, thank you for joining us on this nostalgic ride. Until next time, stay inspired, stay connected, and keep embracing the magic of storytelling. This is Blackish 2014 to 2022, cast then and now. Good night.